the goddamn button. Push the goddamn button. I need y'all to do this. In um in light of my new podcast, The Gonzo Show, that will be on all streaming platforms every fucking Tuesday. Every Tuesday you'll have a new episode of game. You know what I'm saying? But look, let's do this. If you're following me and you see this live right here, email me your address and I'm going to send you a free copy of South Central Lost Scandalous Volume 2. Email me your address and I got you on the house. Big G the Lope, what's up? Y'all niggas, email me your address. I'm gonna send you out a motherfucker, a copy of South Central Law Scandalous Volume Two, just in the light of my uh, of the podcast. You know what I'm saying? Just to celebrate the Gonzo Show, I come with gifts. What up, Detroit Eastside? 313, what's happening? Make sure y'all niggas email me your address, though. Feel me? I ain't gonna sign the motherfucker or no shit like that. But, yeah. We got boxes of these motherfuckers. Tap in with your address, man. You know what I'm saying? But just do me one favor, though. When you tap in with your address, make sure that you know that my podcast come on every Tuesday. You know what I'm saying? So, nigga, reciprocate the love. Because I don't know how many motherfuckers finna DM me. I'm probably going to go to the post office a thousand motherfucking times. But fuck it, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I know the motherfuckers that DM me going to take the initiative to really fuck with me on a different type of level, you feel me? So I don't mind. On all streaming platforms iTunes, Apple Music, Spotify, motherfucking Google Play. Yeah, this is some real good game. This is some real good game right here. You feel me? The Gonzo Show. It will be something that you could depend on every Tuesday to bring value into your life. I guarantee you that. I guarantee you, <laughs> nigga, this not no, this, this not no gossip show. This ain't no show where we talking about other motherfuckers, feel me? We gonna build each other up on this motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Because to keep it funky with you, nigga get all the gossiping and all the, 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 the messy shit you want. All you gotta do is go, go down your motherfucking timeline on Instagram and you'll get all the negativity you need. But the Gonzo Show on the Digital Soapbox Network will be about, you know, and I'm gonna keep saying this, bringing value to each other's lives. We gotta bring value to each other's lives. It should be a plus, nigga, that you gotta, you gotta line on me to hear me talking outside of, you know, 16 bars on the song. You know what I mean? Or three verses and in in, in two hooks or something. You know what I mean? Like... This is a blessing that a nigga got an inside track on a motherfucker that's in tune with uh, the universe in layman's terms. And I don't mind talking about it. I don't mind talking about my insecurities. I don't mind talking about, you know, all the shit that I feel like other cats 
they put that shield up. You know what I mean? I've been listening to a whole lot of podcasts. And a lot of, you know, and I've heard some real good ones. But a lot of the time, you know, I was noticing that people are using this as an opportunity to pad their stats. You gotta be basically, you know, if a motherfucker wanna be Superman, then when he has the microphone, he gonna tell y'all he's Superman. You feel me? When we all know that that shit ain't true. But it's that facade. I feel like, you know, when we building with each other, right? If you building with one of your partners, and the niggas building with you from a a um imaginary place. Like how you gonna build with a nigga that's not being realistic with itself? You can't, cause you, I mean the information that's bouncing back is gonna be fraudulent. You know what I mean? So, you know. One of these things, uh, you know, this thing was a blessing because I'm constantly at a, at a quest, on a quest for myself to get better on a day-to-day basis. Like, I've been challenging myself, you know, for years. Once I figured out that I had some sort of connection or whatever you want to call it that other people didn't have. You know what I'm saying? And believe me, I didn't believe it myself. So much so that I fought to try to put everybody on, try to help everybody. But some people are just not in tune with the universe to um, receive those sort of blessings that's not about money. It's not about any sort of materialistic shit is just about understanding. You know what I mean? Sometimes I feel like motherfuckers don't understand themselves. A lot of the times, we we never understand ourselves. Like, we want to think we do, but nigga, life is so fucking confusing. And if you don't put the right tools around you on a day-to-day basis, you're going to get lost in the sauce. Sometimes you be lost in the sauce for years and don't even know it. Nigga just going through the motions. You know what I mean? Wake up, eat, work, sleep, repeat. Which, you know, that's cool, but it's way more to life out there than that. Shit crazy, bro. I, like, noticed that for a while, I hadn't been having dreams, right? Like, go to sleep and just well-rested, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy because I didn't even notice until the day before yesterday I had a fucking dream. And it was so crazy and vivid. What up? VA checking in. It was so crazy and vivid that I was like, damn, did this really happen? Like, I had to go, like, look in the rooms where I seen these people at and make sure motherfuckers wasn't in my house. Because I woke up convinced, like, in a panic, like, motherfuckers in my crib. I was dreaming. And I was, like, thinking to myself, like, damn, nigga, what the fuck was that about? That's crazy, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause I start thinking, and I'm like, nigga, you ain't have, you ain't been having dreams in a while. Like, I start thinking, like, what was my last fucking dream that I had? Couldn't remember, bro. So it had to be a while ago. Now, don't get me fucking twisted. I'm not saying that I'm unhappy. I'm not saying that I'm depressed or none of that, cause that's not the case. I just didn't understand why I hadn't been, you know, going to La La Land when I'm fucking asleep. (sighs) 
Melly, what up, baby? But you know what I think it was, bro? You know what I think it is? <clears throat> it's like I, I understand that wishing and waiting for some shit to fall out the sky, that shit ain't going to happen. And I feel like once, you know, I um, came into realization that, nigga, nothing's going to happen, nigga, nothing's going to happen until you put the shit in motion. You know what I'm saying? Like, really, not just put it in motion by saying you want to do this shit. Or, you know what I mean? I'm talking about really going out your way, nigga, to put yourself in an uncomfortable situation to make this shit happen at all costs. At all costs. And, shit, nigga, you get anything done like that. So, what I said, what I'm saying is, Hard work and determination beats a motherfucking dream every day. Like, nigga can only dream for so long for you wake up and gotta go put that shit in action. I mean, that's just my philosophy. You know, when they say dream big, they ain't talking about when you sleep. Dream big? Nigga, that's not conversation about sleep. Dream big means go beyond anybody's expectations, even yours. Like, push the fucking arm. <clears throat> and that, I think that's what life is about, people just constantly trying to win, you know, beat, beating your score from yesterday. You know what I mean? It's like a golf course. You're not playing against the other players. You're playing against your best score. You know what I'm saying? Trying to, in the golf course, you're trying to get the lowest score possible. But <clears throat> you understand the philosophy of what I'm saying. But look, make sure y'all DM me your address. You know what I'm saying? I just made it in my mind. DM me, you get a free copy of my uh, South Central Law Scandals Volume 2. DM me, I got you. a gift from the Gonzo Show. Just make sure you tune in every Tuesday on all streaming platforms. You dig? You get a gift. And this shit right here, fire, nigga. You ain't gonna need nothing all summer. This all you gonna need throughout the summer is this right here. Hey, Sharita. Y'all send me your address. And in celebration of my new podcast, it's going to be on every Tuesday on every streaming platform around the world. Here, the Gonzo Show is going to send you a gift of my new album, South Central Lost Scams, Volume 2. Bueno, what up? Yes, sir. <clears throat> but yeah, man, so last night, um, Braxton, he had a major breakdown, bro. My girl's mom came over the other day and took his binkies, like, like, <laughs> like you too old for these, and like snuck his binkies out the house. So he got like five, four or five binkies around here, right? Nigga, last night it came to a head, like, oh, he threw a fucking fit over a binky, and I'm like, this is my opportunity to break him up off this shit, right? So, he went to sleep without it, you know what I'm saying, just drank a hell of bye-bye, but same time, this nigga woke up at the crack of dying this morning. I said, oh, hell no, nah, nigga. We got to go find the store and get a binky. Because that's usually when I get it in, in the morning. When he's still asleep, you feel me? I said, man. So, I had to go find a motherfucking binky this morning. 
That shit is crazy, bro. Hockey Turf, what's happening? Love from the UK, what's up? Hey, I'm coming over there this summer, man. I'm coming over there to come fellowship. See my peoples over there, you dig? Got some shows over there and shit. Also coming to promote the Gonzo show. Man, this shit about to be big. Whoo, this shit about to be big. These niggas don't even know. <laughs> Set the bet. <laughs> I passed the wire the bottles for me. 